Welcome back to Street Culture, and uh, I want to talk about something that's important. When you're driving on the track or you're driving in the, uh, on the regular roads, uh, grip on the steering wheel is, for steering, of course, is absolutely pivotal. And, uh, you know, on the race course, your heart's pumping, your adrenaline's up, your palms are sweating, you might be sweating. Um, and that's just normal because of the excitement level, but, you know, you could, if your palms sweat and you don't have a good grip on your steering wheel, it could cause you to slide or crash or whatever, or be inaccurate in your driving experience. So what race teams do and race car drivers do is they get specially designed gloves that are for, that are actually for the racing experience and helps them, you know, be more proficient drivers. Well, one of the things that, one of the things that, uh, you know, most enthusiasts and most drivers forget is a good pair of driving gloves. So those of you who know me know I'm a big fan of uh, Embezzi, Embezzi driving gloves. I was introduced to them by a friend of mine who bought a set for me. And I've just been stuck with them ever since. Now they're, they're perforated. So you can see they're perforated uh, on the insides of the palm here. You can see all the little holes there. That's to help vent so your hands don't sweat excessively, but it also is uh, lambskin leather. And what this does is it creates a wonderful, wonderful uh, contact for your steering wheel, especially if it's carbon fiber or anything like that. So it helps you really hold the steering wheel where it's supposed to be, and then you don't have that sliding factor or, or the risk of the sliding factor. You'll see the tops along the knuckles are also cut out, and that's also not only just for, uh, for looks, but it serves a purpose for the leather when, when your knuckles peak here, the leather really stretches by opening this up. It helps the leather to kind of not stretch by letting your knuckles through. So and then you have your actual clip here on the, uh, on the back end that holds everything together. So it's a really good thing, but I've had these for oh, about three, four years now. And I uh, went ahead and ordered some new ones. So I think you could get these online on Amazon or yeah, and they ship it to you right away. And, Here's a, just a new pair right here. Um, yeah, so you got the new Embezzi gloves. And this is how they come to your house. And uh, this is how they're shipped. So they're pretty flat when you first get them. And like anything that's leather, you have to break it in a little bit, but not as much as you think. These, uh, these driving gloves, oh yeah, they're very, very tight right now. Because you haven't worn them much type thing. There we go. And these, this size is, what size is this here? Usually I like to get extra large and these are, yeah, these are extra large, but you can see the difference. These, uh, these are, this is the brand new one. I'm gonna put the old one on here. And there we go. You can see the difference in gloves. All right, this one's not broken in yet right here. And you can see this one is. And through stretching and and usage um, this one's actually more comfortable right now than the newer glove because the new glove has to has to stretch so which I will end up doing here pretty soon but yes these are absolutely yeah. essential and the, the interesting part about this is I've had these for four years and the reason I'm uh, I'm looking to to upgrade or replace them is because I have a few tears in here and stuff like this from usage but the the interesting part is as these gloves wear out they actually grip better like this this glove here in this hand this is the used one and the one that's broken in actually works on the string wheel much much better however this one aesthetically looks better which you can see these are all crumpled up and whatnot but they're from being used this one may look better but it actually isn't as uh, effective it's, it's it is still really effective but it's not as effective as this glove that's broken in however this glove here uh, definitely looks better most people say oh that looks better and for those guys that are out there for the styles and all that stuff the, the big beards and the glasses with the gigantic boofs of hair on top of the head and they look like a haberdasher mixed with a lumberjack uh, and they're more into the style than they are about the functionality 
this glove here would probably be more appealing to them. I mean, sorry about that. So this glove's uh, more appealing to them. But when it comes to an actual enthusiast, uh, we, we're all about functionality. Don't get me wrong, we want it to look good, but functionality is absolutely um, the whole point of getting a set of gloves like this. Now, Embezzi has been making gloves for a long time. Um, they're a really good brand. And the quality for what you get, let me take that off there, but I'm gonna hold on to these. And, uh, all right, there we go. The quality is really, compared to most other gloves, I bought these on Amazon for, I think it was like 40 bucks, 50 bucks. But you can easily spend two, $300 on a good pair of driving gloves. And um, the quality is pretty much about the same. You know, I'm busy. I'm very happy with my previous purchase of a couple of years ago. You know, this one here, uh, given to me by my friends for Christmas. Um, the previous purchase here is definitely very nice. The only problem I had was right here along the uh, the strap had to be re-sewn a little bit, but that's just from wear and tear and usage. And yeah, and these gloves are really for just driving. You don't want to wear them for anything else. Um, it keeps the oils from your hands um, off the steering wheel. Anybody who knows uh, steering wheels, if you have a leather steering wheel and you don't clean it regularly or or you just have excessively sweaty or oily hands or skin, that translates into your steering wheel. And being that I have spent a lot of money on a carbon fiber steering wheel for my car, I do not want that steering wheel to look old or really worn out, you know, so, and, and laden down with oils from your hands or skin or sweat from your hands. And these are great for the summertime too, so they don't have to be just cold. Yes, they do have glo gloves that, uh, uh, people wear for cars that are convertible on the outside and it helps keep their hands warm. That's a different style of glove. It's a little more thicker and has some better insulation. But these are actually driving gloves. And they're not meant to keep you super warm. These are for, I would say, mostly uh, cars with full cockpits or not convertible. And uh, you can see how thin they are. They're very, very thin. Let's see if I can get that. But on the inside here, you can see that it's almost like a suede leather side. It's not finished, like it's not the skin side here, it's the, it's the underside of leather. And this is the part that helps absorb your sweat as well as your uh, oils from your skin so it doesn't get into your steering wheel. And that's just absolutely essential in helping maintain the, the beauty and look of your nice steering wheel or the interior of your car. So when you put these on, that's one of the main things that they're for, grip, and to protect your leather on your steering wheel and your interior. Because your, our oils and sweat in our hands can become acidic as well. And this actually hurts a lot of the materials in the car. So this is an excellent, excellent way to uh, curb that destructive nature of our biochemistry by uh, keeping it in the gloves. And then every so often you wanna replace these. Yeah, three, four years, that's probably pretty good. But, uh, I'd say probably really every two years you'd want to replace them just to be safe. Um, and then you can always keep these for you know, other things. Uh, maybe you have a motorcycle and you want to use them, you can use them in the summertime for that. But, but definitely for, for keeping your interior nice and the, the oils and sweat off the steering wheel, you want to replace these. I'd say probably two years. Every two years is probably good. So these are very, very nice. Uh, and Bezzy does an excellent job. The box, everything that you get is quality. They slide them in there. Um, it's very, very nicely put together by this manufacturer. Now, I don't know exactly where they're from, but uh, ever since I had my first pair, I've been happy with the purchases, and this one's going to be, of course, no different. I'm 99.9% .9 sure, and I'm fully confident that uh, this product will last me at least the next two or three years, as these lasted already four. But... Being now that I have uh, a carbon fiber steering wheel and I'm doing a few other things on the interior, I want to make sure that the interior is kept in its top condition that I can. And like I said, driving gloves will do exactly that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this because I think it's absolutely crucial. If you are an auto enthusiast, you have a muscle car, sports car, hyper car, whatever you want, you really should have a nice pair of driving gloves um, because there's more to just 
being an auto enthusiast than just the actual car itself. It's a, it's a culture. It really is. It's a street culture. It's a, a car culture, a life culture, and uh, it's a lot different. Everything from your sunglasses to your, to your watch. I mean, these things are all, I mean, this is just an example, but, you know, this is a very nice pair of Ray-Bans in carbon fiber. Um, in fact, it's a, a gold carbon fiber on the outside. It's kind of hard to see in this light. Gold carbon fiber and then uh, white carbon fiber on the inside, but we'll, we'll talk about that another time. But today, uh, I just wanted to introduce you to driving gloves. If you don't have a nice pair of driving gloves, go on Amazon, go on eBay, go to your local leather shop and grab a nice set of driving gloves. I'm telling you, it makes all the difference. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for joining me here at Street Culture. This is George, wishing you a great day. Make sure you get those driving gloves so I can see you in style doing your thing on the road.